This is Mike Mills Art Park again, bringing you the coolest products of yesterday and today. And today I'm bringing you the Harry Potter Vibrating Brew. Little did you know that I had actually graduated from Hogwarts myself. That's right, I'm actually a wizard. And this is my official Quidditch scarf, see, from Gryffindor. I also took a bludger to the head quite a few times and uh, it still hasn't healed up. That's why I act the way I do. Um, well, no matter. Now, I understand before this was passed to Harry Potter that Dumbledore himself had um, tuned it up and uh, looped it up and took it for some um, extended test flights through the, his um, Chamber of Secrets. And um, then he passed it to McGonagall's uh, trembling hands. And um, I understand she took it for a few joy rides herself before it was finally passed to Harry Potter. I hope they've washed it for God's sake. I mean, Raleigh. It was quite controversial when it was introduced. Um, it was pulled out uh, of the market quite fast due to a lot of people complaining that um, <clears throat> uh, it was useful for other purposes other than just riding around the house. And look, this was Troy me in the package. In the store, the youngster, or the youngster's mother, may actually climb on the broom, jump on broom, and fly me. This is rather interesting as well. Real flying sensations. Hmm. Here's a youngster enjoying his flight on the Harry Potter vibrating broom. The fastest ever flying experience. Um, broom does not really fly. Oh, how stupid would someone have to be to believe this broom would actually fly? The very rare Harry Potter broom Nimbus 2000 also came in this extremely rare vertical package. Who do you suppose actually designed this idiotic product? Brett Scott, product design, sir! Pleased to meet you, sir! Uh, Mr. Scuttle, did you ever think that your Harry Potter vibrating broom design would be so uh, controversial? Actually, sir, the vibrating broom filled a very ported opening in the market. That's quite interesting. Did you ever realize the design um, of that it vibrated would ever lead to some problems in the marketplace? They loved the vibrating broom. There was a huge shortage of batteries in um, all of Britain afterwards because they were just um, using them so much. I mean, the mothers, it brought families together. The mothers were using the brooms and these toys as much as the youngsters. We also designed some this rather lovely uh, Dora the Explorer Aquapet toy. Um, and never found any complaint with us, sir. Very pleased to be on the telly with you this evening, sir. So, on the inappropriate old meter, could you please rate the Harry Potter vibrating broom with one being totally innocent to ten meaning? Oh my god, how obscene! And if you thought my British accent was perfectly dreadful, please put that in the comments section as well. And if you liked my review of the Harry Potter Crotch Rocket, I mean Vibrating Nimbus 2000, um, please rate to be five stars. I'd really appreciate those five stars, particularly from an old Gryffindor alumni here. I'd really appreciate it. And if you like my interesting toy reviews of um, unusual toys from the past, please push that blue word down there that says Jeepers Media. You'll be glad you did. Over 125 cool unusual product reviews. Oh, and if you like this review, I have lots more to come. Please push the little yellow subscription button. You'll be glad you did.